Hey, my name is Josh, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to find your Wi-Fi password on a Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Spotlight Search for an application called Keychain Access. Spotlight Search is a handy feature on Mac that lets you search for any application uh, or file on the Mac. The way you can enable Spotlight Search and bring it up is two keys. The keyboard shortcut is command space. And so as soon as you press command space, this search bar will come up. This is called the spotlight search. You can search for files and applications here. And so what we're going to search for is keychain access. Keychain access. It is the application on Mac that stores all passwords. So go ahead and double click this application that came up. It has keys on it. You can double click it. Now we've opened Keychain Access. This has all of our passwords in it, uh, but we're specifically looking for the Wi-Fi password. So you want to first know what Wi-Fi network name you're looking for to find the password. So when you open up the Wi-Fi bar, you have a bunch of options here, and you may know the name of the network you're looking for, but you may not remember the password. So I know the name of my network is MCC. So in the search bar, I'm going to search MCC. And you may get a few results. The one you're looking for matches a name, so the name here is MCC, and the kind is airport network. It's a network, meaning it's a Wi-Fi network. So we can double click this once we found it, and it'll pop up this little window here. Now go all the way down to the very bottom where it says show password, and there's a little check uh, box next to it that's unchecked. You're going to want to check that. So click into that empty box. It's going to ask you for an administrator's username and password if you have one. If you don't, it might not, but I do, so I'm going to enter in that information. And there we go. Your password shows up right there, and you can log in to your Wi-Fi network, let's say if you've forgotten your password. So if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks so much.